you come before your throne of grace. Lord, we thank you for friends and family members and colleagues located all around the world who have joined us in this Bahamas Project Management Community virtual launch party. Lord, we thank you for the vision, for the provision, and for the gift of fulfilling your purpose. Lord, please bless those in attendance and those who are on their way. May this event be a successful one and that may it bring you honor and glory. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Can everyone hear me? That's a good time to ask. <laughs> okay, I um, all of our speakers are not here as yet, but we're gonna start with, what are we gonna start with? Godwin. But first of all, let me tell you what we have planned. Jackie Roll is our, games host and what we decided to do was to interject the games between the speakers so that we don't run out of time we have a lot of wonderful prizes that we want you guys to be able to win and so between the speakers who have 10 minutes we're time boxing 10 minutes to speak then um between each speaker jackie is going to do a game so that we can win prizes and so we're going to start with godwin and then we're gonna to go to Leon and hopefully by then Ricardo should be here. He wanted to go first because we have his the, um, YouTube channel to do at eight o'clock, but he hasn't arrived as yet. So that may change because he, he has to leave a bit early, earlier than everyone else. But for now, we're gonna start with Godwin. Godwin, Godwin coin is uh, the official currency. <laughs> of the Bahamas Project Management Community. Take it away, Godwin. Can't hear you. Still can't hear you. Yeah. Can't hear you. <laughs> you know, he does this on purpose to make sure he's muted. Can you hear me now? Yes. Coach Leon, you were jinxing me, so. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know how that <laughs> So first, I wanted to say thank you to everyone. Thank you to, for, to Andrea for putting up this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful civic duty. Coach Leon, Omar, and everybody that I can mention, Jackie, everyone here, thank you for the Clarence Confer, at least showing up on time and helping a good cause. So Andrea didn't give me, give me anything to talk about. She just said, speak. So now I'm confused. I don't even know what to talk about. So um, we started this with a prayer. And, um, and some of, most of us here yeah, do not know. Um, some of us are Christians. So um, I know you're probably familiar with the verse from Acts 20 to 35 that says, in all this I have given you an example that by such work we must support the weak remembering the words of the Lord Jesus, for he himself said, it is more blessed to give than to receive. And so I kind of given this as the paradox of giving for me, which is what I thought about today when I wanted to speak. But I kind of prepared something. And then I said, no, let's actually talk about what is life really about? Um, I know we've all been lied to before. We're told that um, you come to this world, you work hard enough. And that if you put all hours together, you get good grades at school, you'll be happy. you get rewarded. And, and then you could start living that wonderful life you wanted to live. So um, I don't know how many of us are familiar with The Matrix, the movie. Good. So I like some of the quotes by Morpheus in The Matrix. There's one he said, I'm trying to free your mind, Neil, but I can only show you the door you are the one that has to walk through it. 
So um, why did I say that? Um, Andrea is showing us the door today. She's opening the door wide for us to come in. She's opening the door wide for us to embrace. She's opening the door wide for us to come in and join. And, and I'm looking at the, and I'm thinking some people will be like, oh, she's in here. There's something she really wants to gain out of this. And so if she's gaining and you gain, then what is wrong there? If you gain and she gains, the world gains, everybody gains. So what is the word for me today? Is that paradise of giving? The paradise of coming together as a community. And so it takes me a little further. Um, you can only be a member of a community when three things happen. You know, the community aligns with you and you align with the community. There's that identification, there's validification, and there's also participation, which is kind of a social identity circle that we all, that I want to talk about today. So what is that identification? What it means is that Andrea has identified an area for us to come together and work. She has identified that this thing is lacking in the Bahamas and this is what we need as a people, as a community. So she has aligned this, come together and say, oh, I identified this aspect that is not working or that is not there. Let us fill it up and feed it. And now, she had called us to all participate. And the only way we can participate is like what we did today. We came together, we joined, we joined the Zoom. We are here listening to what we're all gonna say. Even sometimes if I'm not making sense, but you're all paying attention, I can see Coach Leon shaking his head, even though he's shaking his head in disbelief, but still we're all here and we're aligned with her. We identified with her. We say thank you for bringing us together. We want to know what you want to talk about. We want to know how far we can take this. We want to know how far this can help us. And we also want to tell you that we are solidly behind you. That is why we are all here. It's not like we're just enjoying spending this one hour after work to be here. It's just that we find it interesting to be with her, aligned with what she's doing and identify with her. And what is the third one, third and last one? It's the validation. You know, the validation that we're giving to her that which is what all of us, are, what I said about the reward before, that validation, that reward system that you and I can gain together, we can all work together and gain something from this project that she's putting up. She's not putting up this project to be a millionaire tomorrow. She's not putting up this project so that she alone can enjoy it. She's putting up this program that everybody together will be. There's a saying in Nigeria, which is a very awkward saying. It says that when we put that it's the combination and, you know, when all the rice in the pot agrees to stay together, that's when you have a pot of rice. That if they all don't come together, nothing happens. There's another one that says, I don't know if you guys, there's a local broom we use back home. It's all piece of brooms that come, that is tied together. And it said that if you try to break them while they're together, you can't break it. The only way you can break that bunch is by taking them out one by one and breaking them into pieces. If they're all in that same bunch, you can break it. And so that is the bond I'm talking about. That is what we're saying that with you all, with us all joining hands, with us all saying thank you or saying yes, count me in, in this project that we're doing. It's not gonna, we're all just gonna talk about this today and then tomorrow we'll go back to our seven to eight, whatever time, our daily grind, or our daily bustle. But when we decide to come together as a community, which is what she is trying. Somebody started the PMI that we're talking about today. Somebody started it, somebody thought about it. Every organization that has started here today in the world, somebody created it, somebody came together and say, let's do these things. Um, I used to be a Rotarian and I used to remember how the Rotary Club started in 1905 by a lawyer who just felt like he just wanted people, people like him to come together and have fun, you know, sit in a coffee shop and talk. 
Paul Harris never thought that Rotary is going to be what it is today, you know, in every nook and corner in the world. And so he thought about it just as an idea. It grew in his mind, you know. He came up with it and said, I can actually help fill this void that is not there by me communicating it to Omar, saying, Omar, there's this void somewhere that I'd like us to fill. It's blossomed to something. The South Florida that we meet every day, somebody thought about it that let's come together and form quorum where people can come in, tap in knowledge, understand, ask questions where they lack. And then today we going, growing like a tree, strong with the roots very deep. And so the only way we can come together as I'm talking to you today, you and I, with Andre, with all of us here, the only way we can make this thing solid is by it growing real good fruits and by that being solid. And so I implore you, um, thank you, Andre, for putting this up together, but this cannot live after this if we just come in today and just fold our hands and leave it all for her to just carry on. And so I'm employing everybody, or mostly those of us in the Bahamas and those other people who are not in the Bahamas, but who live outside the Bahamas. You can all still join this and come together, make this something that we can all come together next year and celebrate one year. So thank you for giving me this opportunity and thank you for the time. I yield back to you, Andrew. Thank you, Godwin. Before you leave, can you let the audience know who you are and where you're from, what you represent? So they call me Godwin. You can God call me Tony if you wish, if the Godwin is too Christian for you. And um, I live in, <laughs> I travel the globe. I live in Charlotte. Um, I'm from Nigeria, somewhere in Africa. And um, I'm a scrum master, agile coach, and I, I have an awesome coach here by the name Leon. So I want to be like him when I grow up. Thank you very much. Thank you, Godwin. You're up, Jackie. Hello, 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 everybody. I am so excited to be here. I tell you, I was telling Andrea, <laughs> I woke up first thing this morning and I just left out with this voice note and I'm like, today is the day. So I'm always excited, especially to see this in motion and to be a part of this. But guess what? We're about to have some fun. We're about to kick off. We're about to have some prizes. So our very first icebreaker. Now, all of us in here, some of us may know each other or a few people in the group, but even though we're virtual, we still want to connect with each other, right? And so many of you, you might not know who I am. My name is Jackie. I'm here and live in Nassau, Bahamas. I um, employ with the Bahamas Red Cross. And uh, we're going to use one word to describe who you are, one adjective to describe who you are. We're going to get to know each other a little bit more. So for example, I'm joyful Jackie. I'm always upbeat, smiling. People are like, do you have a bad day? Yes, I have bad days. <laughs> So for the most part, um, but I want to get to know, and we all want to get to know each other because we are about to become a community, a community of project managers, and we're all over the world. So I want you, and we're going to start off from my screen to the top of my screen, and you, we're going to start off with Mr. Leon. So Mr. Leon, you're going to start us off. So there's one word, one adjective to describe the first letter of your name. And then we're going to continue on. Uh, I'm going to say I'm lucky. I'm, uh, I'm lucky, Leon, because I'm lucky to be here with Andrea and this fantastic group. So, um, and I'm, I'm lucky to be here on this evening, on June the 1st, the first day of the month, right? Where it's a great day to kick things off. So I'm lucky. Awesome. So anybody else can just jump in when you when you're nope, ready. I'm gonna pass. I'm gonna pass it. I'm gonna pass it to Omar. Go ahead, Omar. Well, I don't have a word. I guess I would say brave would be the word. 
because I, at times I have heavy doubt in myself and yet I take that step. So I'll go with brave. Awesome. Now you pass it on to someone. We're going to keep passing this baton on. But Omar said brave, like with a B? Yes, ma'am. Oh, it Omar, has to be with a Your o. first name begins with a B? No. Oh, it has to be with my first yeah, name. first name yeah. is B for bad. Okay. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry. I... I don't know. <laughs> I think I think he's. Uh, I think Omar is uh, outrageous. I'm going to call him outrageous uh, because he does all these crazy things, and you 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 think uh, you think you know him, but he goes to level ten or level fifteen Absolutely. or something. Wow! You know? wow. Right? So I think he's outrageous in a good way, right? I have a better adjective for Omar. I'll say optimistic. Oh, very good. Awesome. That's a good one too. And and I say outstanding. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. So Omar, you can pass it on. We have Lucky Leon. We have Optimistic Omar. Go ahead. Pass it on, Omar. Okay. Let's go with Victoria. Okay. I would say victorious oh wow wonderful awesome pass it on you can go ahead and pass it on to the next person um, andrea she passed it to the mom oh she passed it to me but i have to go kick my dog <laughs> Okay, and I will go and I will say grace for me because grace has kept us, kept me, kept all of us alive in this same happy world that we're in, the world where people are dying and people are losing their jobs. And so grace, it's my one word. Awesome. You pass I'll, it on. I'll pass it on to Saba. Thanks, Godwin. Let me see. Um, sincere. You guys are passing the baton to who you already know. Pass the baton yeah. to people you don't know. Exactly. Okay. Well, Saba. After, Sab after Saba. <laughs> Godwin knows everyone, though. I mean, that's hard for him. Exactly. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, I would like to go with sincere. Um, I think once you gain my trust... I'm an open book with you and I would do anything for you. And Andrea, you got a special place in my heart. So you're my sister. Thank you. And I Aww. will pass it on to Fabian. Go ahead, Fabian. You're up. Pass it on. All right. So I am fabulous, babe. Um, definitely fabulous because I'm a project manager like you guys. I love creatives. I love marketing. and just happy to be here and part of the community. Wonderful. Let's just go ahead. Sorry. Go ahead. Pass it on. All right. So I'll pass it on to Keithra. Okay. So I'm going to be keen Keithra. <laughs> um, so I'm very enthusiastic about everything that I do. Um, I think that in order to be successful at something, you know, you have to be passionate about it as well. Um, other than that, I'm very sharp on reading people's personality um, so that I could be able to, you know, deal with them a little bit better. So, yeah, I'll go with Keen. All righty, pass it on. So you just continue to say your adjective and just pass it on to the next person. I'm going to pass it on to Sanchia. I felt that it was coming to me. <laughs> Hi, everybody. So I want to say that I am strong, Sanchia, just because sometimes strength, um, sometimes having strength means being vulnerable. So I like the fact that I can put an irony on that. So I will be strong, Sanchia. And I'm going to pass it to, forgive me if I pronounce your name wrong, I'm going to go with an easy name. Danielle. <laughs> Thank you for that. 
Hi, good night, everyone. I'm going to be Divine Danielle. I'm very pleasant, unless you and your personality make me otherwise. So we can go with Divine. Thank you. Just pass it on, Danielle. Okay. I like to pass it on to the show. Um, okay, Danielle, hold on to the show. Ricardo Miller is here, so we're going to let him speak so we don't run out of time. So, Coach Ricardo Miller. You came away in a bit late, but what we're doing is interjecting games between our speakers. The first speaker already went. We know you have your event to prepare for, so the floor is yours. You have 10 minutes. Andre Thank you. Thank you so much, Andrea. This is this is totally awesome. And uh, if I had to pick a, a, a letter uh, that represents my name, I would say relentless. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, go I'm going with relentless, but... Uh, uh, I bless this event and this gathering and launch. I'm excited about what, what you're doing and what the group has decided to join uh, this movement about, because at the end of the day, you know, alone we can do so little, but together we can do so much. And so I believe that this is, this is such a phenomenal idea. And so may the Lord bless you and your team a uh, hundred times more in all of the success that you will continue to put your hands to. Today, I just want to challenge you guys. Uh, coming from Dallas, Texas, I thought I would have gotten home in my studio in time. Unfortunately, you just can't predict the roads. You can't predict the traffic. You can't predict what is happening on the freeway. But I'm here, and I'm here to challenge you guys that uh, in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of countries are uh, starting to reopen in the midst of people starting to go back to business as usual. There are just a number of things that I'm a strong believer that we have to become very committed in uh, moving forward to achieve success in all that we do. Remember this, and I want everybody to write this in the chat section. Someone is going to be successful. Why not me? Uh, now, you got you to own that, okay? Someone is going to be successful. Someone is going to change the game. Why not me? Now, we oftentimes, we look at a lot of what is being presented in the media, what's be being presented on social media, what's being presented uh, in magazines, what's being presented uh, at the coffee table or in the uh, supply room at our various companies where we're talking about who's next and what great is happening in someone else's life. But a lot of us, don't ever go for putting us on the table of the person that's next. The truth be told, by the end of this year, there will be some people who have changed the game and have gone where no one else has gone before, established some things that no one else has established before, and literally experiencing some things that others could have experienced but chose not to step out of the boat to acquire a greater level of success. So the first thing I want you to start thinking about is if someone is going to be successful, let's go ahead and say, why not me? If someone is going to do well this week, if someone is going to do well this month, if someone is going to do well in this last six months of the year, if there is going to be a movement that's going to establish itself in the earth, that's going to be a game-changing movement, why not this movement? Somebody said, well, you know, you're from the Bahamas and it's a, such a small island and, and, you know, there are certain mentalities that Bahamians have that would limit us from having success. You got to get to the point where you start thinking like Leon, Leon, Leon Musk, where you say, you know what, not only am I going to be a difference in the earth, I'm going to go to Mars, I'm going to go to space, I'm going to put a rocket in the sky. And, and do something no family member has ever done. Do something that no one else in your state has ever done. No one in your school has ever done. I'm so impressed by the people who show up every day and make up in their minds that in spite of the struggle, the fight, the determination, and the willpower that one was put forth to become that one that says, you know what? It's going to be me. Come on. It is going to be. You got to get to the point where you're so excited that you speak life into your future and to everything that you put your hands to. It's going to be. Why not me? And then, okay, it's going to be me. That's a mentality we must acquire. That's the first thing. We got to put ourselves in the category of those who will achieve success or those who are achieving success. That's the first thing. The next thing that I want to push and highly recommend is that association really does matter. It's important that we 
come together as like-minded individuals for a common goal. One of the things that I've been teaching a lot of my clients is that it is impossible to put your hands in a bucket of glue without some of that glue sticking to you. When you get around like-minded people, people that are on fire, people who are determined to make something happen, people who says, listen, I'm not going to stand on the sideline and watch other people be successful. The truth is someone is going to be successful. Why don't I connect with other people who are about to make something happen and engage at a higher level of living and performance? The truth is when I start to connect with others, who are climbing, it helps my journey to also be a better experience because to try to achieve success by yourself makes success a more difficult thing. So what I've been teaching as well lately, and I want to encourage you, I tell people it's lonely at the top. It's lonely at the top only when you take the journey by yourself. <laughs> the truth is there are other people who are wanting to climb just as much as, as you're wanting to climb. Um, and so... It, it is super important. It is very, very important that, that you and I, all of us, accept the fact that, you know what? I'm not going to take the journey by myself. That's the reason why a community like this is necessary. The truth is there is enough for all of us. That's the third point. Uh, come on. There is enough for all of us. There is no need for what we call the black crab syndrome. There is no need for jealousy to be among us as a people when the truth is, listen, you pick the size of the pie that you want, please note that God created enough pie for all of us. As a matter of fact, you can have your whole pie and eat it too. You know, you gotta get to the point where you start to realize there is enough for all of us. So I need not play reserved and stand on the sideline only admiring others who have stepped out of the boat to do something significant. But what I have to do is I have to remind myself, number one, someone is going to be successful, then, then why not me? But then last, as I mentioned just now, I want you to grab a hold of this in your spirit and says, you know what? I'm coming for mine because there's enough for all of us. Woo! Once you get that, there's enough for all of us. Let me tell you something. Someone is going to be successful this year. Someone is going to make that money. Someone is going to establish a, a, a plan and a strategy that's going to be a game-changing plan. Here's what I want all of us to start thinking about as we continue to gather this evening. Let's be the ones in the boat that's making the difference in the earth. Let's be the one that's gathering, pushing each other and inspiring each other to just keep on chucking, going after what we may have never gone after before, but knowing that somebody is going to be a game changer. Why not me or why not us? And last but not least, if there's enough pie for all of us, how about celebrating the person who got their plate? and got their pie first. Come on, let's celebrate each other. That's the last one. Let's celebrate each other. Let me tell you something. I have found that what you give, you get. Whatever you give your attention to have a tendency of growing and advancing or becoming more in your life. Let's celebrate each other. For every little task you see anyone do in any little way, cheer them on. Because the truth is, it takes a lot of effort to do anything in the earth. And when you see success starts to come someone's way, when you see them start to have their piece of the pie, listen, man, don't envy their piece of the pie. Just realize you're next in line. And if you ever go to a birthday party, they don't give everybody the pie at the same time or the cake at the same time. You got to give those pieces out in parts. So if someone got their piece, you just know your piece is coming. All right. And here's the deal. What you celebrate and appreciate has a tendency of attracting itself to you the more. If you want favor, celebrate and honor where favor presides. And favor will notice you on your way to acquiring much success. Don't be afraid to get your piece of the pie. Don't be afraid to celebrate anybody else who's gotten their piece of the pie. Remember, someone is going to be successful. Why not me? I need not envy anybody. I just need to celebrate everybody. That was awesome. And Andrea, thank you. you so it was done in the car. <laughs> yeah, this was done, this was done in the car. I said, listen, man, listen, I'm coming through. You remember, relentless now, relentless. <laughs> Yep, Relentless Ricardo coming to you from the car. <laughs> yes.
Drive safely, son. Thank you so much. And your final words? You were about to say something? Yes. No, my final words is once again, this is awesome. I, I, I feel privileged and honored to be able to be a part of this. And whatever I can do in the future, me or our organization here in Texas, we support you. Uh, we're behind you. And we're cheering you on as you extend your hand to get your pie. And as you continue to make your climb to the top, know that you ain't alone. We walk in this thing together. Blessings yes, to everyone in the group tonight. But before you leave, I want to acknowledge some of our teachers, former teachers from RM Bailey, Mrs. Joan Gray and BB Claire are joining us. Oh, Ricardo, come on, man. Ricardo Miller is a former pacer. We are both yes. from RM Bailey School. So I, my um, high school teachers are here supporting me. So you know. Ooh, class of 92 is right here. I represent class of 92. No, I, I can't <laughs> see my class, but I'm not that far back. <laughs> uh. Proud of you, Andrea. Thank you, Miss Gray. Love you. Love you we back. are proud of you. Hello, Miss Baby Claire. <laughs> no one has their cameras on, so we're just going to remember how you guys looked 20 years ago. <laughs> Hi, Miss Gray. She's driving too. So we stopped on um, Tashura. So, Jackie, we stopped on Tashura, had the game stick. Thank you. Thank you so much, Coach Ricardo. Awesome. Awesome. He left some nuggets with us. We're going to continue on. I know that time is of the essence, so we're going to roll through this very quickly. We're going to switch it up a little bit because I know that uh, we have quite a few people on the line and uh, we want to go ahead and I need some volunteers. I need about three different volunteers. We're going to pay a little two truths and a lie. I'm sure some of you I was might ready be to talk. Some of you might be familiar with this. Some of you might not be familiar with it. But uh, if I can have about three volunteers, we're going to go ahead and uh, quickly. Okay, I see San Sanchia. She, she the raised Shura her is your first. Tashura is your first volunteer. She was next in line. Tashura, Sanchia, and Godwin. All right. So this is how we're going to do it, guys. What you're going to do is you're going to tell us three things. Now, out of the three things that you share with us, Two of these things are going to be truth, and there's going to be one lie in there, right? So you have to be real good, real clever, real smart. And uh, we, the audience, we're going to have to determine whether or not you are telling us what is the truth and what is the lie. And for the audience, we do want to give away some prizes. We have some awesome prizes that we want to give away. So the first person that's able to go ahead and raise their hands, and uh, if they are correct, uh, of course, they will win a prize. So we're going to start off with Tashura. So Tashura, go ahead. Um, I am Andrea's sister. I love the Bahamas. And um, I... And I'm enjoying this meeting. She didn't hear the instructions, unless I'm not her real sister. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know. What you say? Sure two truths and, 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 and a lie. Now, let me give you all a little joke about me playing this game a couple weeks ago. I am not good at lying. I told every truth in the book. <laughs> And everybody in the group was trying to figure out, well, what happened to Jackie? And I just burst out laughing when I realized that I told everybody the truth. <laughs> so, uh, so sure, is that it? That you, you, You're done? You want to change anything? We can give you a couple of seconds. You want to change anything? Okay. Um, I live in Mexico. Aww. All right. <laughs> so who, who wants to go ahead and, and tell us what the two truths are and what is the lie for Tashura? Let's see everybody, if we can get a winner. Everybody here knows what the lie is. <laughs> yes, that was too easy. Not everybody, Godwin. <laughs> Not everybody. So who, who's going to... Now, Godwin, you, you can't participate. I said Omar is in Puerto Rico and he's laughing because he knows what's the lie. Right, Omar? <laughs> 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 Omar is like, I know what the lie is. <laughs> He's not really in Mexico. 
Let somebody want to go ahead. Who want to give it? Go ahead and give it a try beside Godwin because Godwin know what it is. <laughs> we excluding you out of this one, Godwin. <laughs> Anybody want to give it a try for Victoria? Guess which one is the lie? If she lives in Mexico. <laughs> All right. So sure, is that correct? Is that the lie? Um, that's correct. All right. Way to go, Victoria. <laughs> we got our first, we got our first winner. Congrats, congrats to you. <laughs> Okay, our next our next game play is Miss Sanchia. You ready, Miss Sanchia? I am, but oh. I have to turn off my camera because you can read my face and tell when I'm lying. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay, guys, she's making this a little harder for us. She don't want to give herself up. Give herself away. Go ahead. Okay, so I am a dog lover. Um when I turned 18, I changed my legal name and I've always wanted to be a Spanish teacher. That's a good one. Jackie, you muted. What, what was the last one, Sanchia? I've always wanted to be a Spanish teacher. Okay, was that Saba? Yeah. Okay, you want to tell us what the lie is? Uh, it's a tough one. I believe that she is a dog lover. I it's it's a toss between wanting to be a teacher or changing her legal name, and I am more inclined to go with wanting to change or changing her legal name at eighteen. That's okay. the lie. Sanchia, is that correct? Is that the lie? That is the lie. I am a dog lover. <laughs> <laughs> so we got ourselves another winner. Congratulations. Okay, we got Mr. Godwin up next. Thank you. Mr. Godwin, oh, go okay. ahead. Tell us what the two truths and the lie is. No, he's going to tell three lies. <laughs> So um, I have three daughters. Um, my first degree is in computer science and I have a master's. Can you repeat the last one? Cause your hand was over your mouth. What, was, what did you say? I have a master's in project management. Okay, who is gonna challenge? Who's gonna tell us what the lie is for Mr. Godwin? A master's in project management? I do have that. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> so is that the lie, yes or no? That's the truth. Okay, so you then eliminated two of the two 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 of the answers. There's only one of the two that's left. Anybody else want to challenge what the lie is? Who I does not know him? Who does not know him? <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm thinking three daughters. He don't have three daughters. That's the lie. Yes. So I told <laughs> that's what Coach Leon. I changed the game. I told two lies and one truth. <laughs> you told. <laughs> All righty. So we got our next winner, and that's who? Carol. Yes, Caroline. Caroline. All right. Yeah. Yay, Caroline! Awesome, awesome. Congratulations. Thank you all for participating. Over to you, Andrea. Yes, the games will continue after our next speaker, which is last but not least. My internet is unstable. Everybody wants to know how many daughters you actually have, Godwin, that you know of. I have two daughters that I know of. Yeah, and how old are they? They are 16 going 17. Oof, oof. 15 going 16. Wow. How yeah. many sons? I have just two daughters. Yeah, just two daughters that you know. Yeah. 
that I know of. Yeah. Imagine, imagine Godwin right now is dealing with two teenage daughters. <laughs> What's with the disclaimer that I know of, that I know of? Do you have children that you don't know of? Like, who does that? <laughs> with Godwin, it, there are many disclaimers. Is it a man disclaimers. thing? Is it a man thing that they have children no, that they don't no, know No, 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 no. It's a Godwin thing. There are many Can disclaimers. a woman have a child that she doesn't know of? It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. It's possible. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They could be in... They could be in coma throughout the gestation period, give baths, and then wake up finding out they had a daughter later. It's possible, you know. I'm not. I'm not promoting that. <laughs> <laughs> no. Sound like the next movie Godwin is writing. That sounds like no, a I, movie. I, I hope not. Please don't. Please don't invest in Godwin's movies. Okay. So. Just you no. Know, um, just invest in Godwin coins, not the movie. Yes, exactly. That, that's a good investment. That's yes. a good investment. Yes. That's that's no lie. So uh so thank you. Thank you, Andrea. I will tell you, you've had some great speakers uh here tonight, and uh, I do want to recognize that. Um I want to recognize that you're starting this on the first, first of the month. That is very, very important. And um I want to echo uh it was a coach Ricardo, Coach Ricardo, uh yes. earlier. Yes. Um he was talking about I, I, something really resonated a lot of what I love coach Ricardo. He's sitting there driving and uh, he's talking to us um, in Dallas traffic, uh, which, which can be formidable. But um, he was talking about, you know, being successful alone, right? Like going it alone. And I was, I thought uh, that kind of resonated with me because I want to ask, I want to start off by asking a question. So, you always hear, you know, these people that they uh, they climb Mount Everest, right? They say, I climbed Mount Everest. Everybody, anybody heard, you know, stories about people climbing Mount Everest? You know, they're on the news. Raise your hand if you've uh, heard those stories, right? So I want you to put in the chat, do they, do they climb it alone? Do they climb Mount Everest alone? Who are they with? Are they climbing it alone? So who who are yeah who are they with? Who's with them? Sherpas. Yeah, and who are who are these Sherpas? Locals that know the mountain and have lived in the mountain their whole lives. That's right, and and you know. Do you really think that that tourists or climbers that come there for the first time really know how to climb up, climb out of risk? What what do the Sherpers do before they even start? Before the someone like me were to even start climbing, what happens? What do they do? They give instructions. Yep, they give instructions. What else do they do? Something very very important. They actually lay all the lines and uh, fasteners ahead of time. They go out in the early morning and they go out and, and lay all those ropes out, all those uh, fasteners out. So all the people have to do is just follow the path. So they do that all ahead of time. So that's another thing that, that I kind of want to share tonight is that what Andrea and, and you are all doing is you're, you're laying the path for others. You are laying the path for others to come. And that's very, very important. That is hard work, but it is valuable work because then it's much easier for people like Victoria to come right along, right? And we all want, we all want people like Victoria to come along. And if we lay the groundwork for them, they can't. And, and that's the other thing about, you know, whenever I hear people say, well, I climbed Mount Everest, you did not do it alone. You did it with the help of Sherpas. People cannot climb Mount Everest without Sherpas. They cannot, cannot do it. And these are people that uh, do this all the time. They're there, it's where they live, it's their home. And I think about project management in this way, right? We all live it, it's our home. And so when new people come to project management, we need to help lay the path for them 
say you're not alone. We'll go the path with you. So that's that's how I kind of want you to think about maybe this group as you are you are taking off. You're laying the path. You are you are bringing people with you, and you are not alone. Um, think about this group a, a, as a community. It's a community. Um, and that means our strength is in our community. It is not in just one person. And so you really need your project management community. In order for it to thrive, you need community involvement. So it cannot be all about one person. It has to be people that are, are working together, even doing small things, right? Not all the time, but helping out in the ways that you can, when you can. Uh, it's about sharing. So it's about willing to share uh, what's going on in your life, what's going on in your career, um, willing to share your knowledge, willing to share your insights, willing to share your time, willing to share your money even as much as you can, and, and you know, willing to share a lot, okay? Uh, because you are sharing it with your community. You know, what you're going to get out of this also is, is networking. You're going to get to meet a lot of people. And you might have some commonalities with them. You might have some connections with them that you, you have no idea that you would have. Um, and it could be in anything. We don't know until we actually start talking to each other, until we start communicating. So you're gonna have a lot of value in, in the community, in sharing and in networking. And so I think, you know, those are things that you may not think about, but you are going to have. Now, of course, with this community, there's gonna be a lot of education so you'll be learning a lot about all areas of project management and other project management disciplines. This, is, this group will be a hub for education. And of course, education is, is so important. Education they cannot take away, no one can take away from you. And you will have for, with you, and then you can pass on to others. Of course, you know, this group is also gonna be helping you grow your career. If you're only one person, and you work, you know, you say, well, it's just me. I'm going to try to focus on my career as best you can. You can have this group to help you with your career, to help you find jobs, to help you see what's out there, to help you, to help you understand what other people have done with their career. And so, and, and to really grow your own career. So we all can help each other grow our own careers here in project management in the Bahamas. And I think, what I what I'd love to see from this group is coming up with your own values and principles. What are your values? What do you value? What are some of the principles that you want this group to be founded on? So I encourage you to come up with some of your values and principles that you want this group to be founded on, and then you can reflect back on and check in with to see, you know. Are those still resonating with us? Are we living those values and principles? And then create some goals for yourself as a group. Create some goals for your group starting on June 1st, you know, for the, end, for the next six months and then the next 12 months. What goals do you want to achieve? Where do you want to see this group go? What vision do you have for this group? So it shouldn't be just one person's vision. It should be a shared vision. Thinking about the vision for this group. And I think if you bring all of that together, right, that you are not going it alone, that you could literally be a, a Sherpa that can lay the path for others, that you foster a community, that you share so that others can benefit, that you are doing networking so you can learn from others, you are getting educated, you're growing your career, you're setting values and principles for the group and you're creating some goals. You bring all that together, at that point, now you're starting to lift everyone up. You are lifting everyone up where they weren't and now lifting them up to another place, to a higher place. And then you start getting energy and movement and then things start opening up for you, right? And so that's, that's my hope for this group. That's my wish for this group. And um, I'm very thankful uh, for Andrea and this whole group for coming together. And 
I'm Leon Sabarski. I'm a coach in Tampa, Florida. I love the Bahamas. Um, been to Nassau, Paradise Island, and many other areas of the Bahamas many times. And you cannot be sad in the Bahamas. It's impossible. And so every time I think of the Bahamas, I, I have to smile because I cannot be sad. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Coach Leon. That was awesome. Great tips. Uh, before persons start to leave, can we take a photo for posterity? Cameras on, cameras on, turn your cameras on. I went and got my makeup done to take a picture with you guys. And I don't wear makeup, so enjoy it. <laughs> <laughs> Everybody take a picture. It's not going to happen again. Can you wait? Let me go put my on. No, Godwin. That's yeah. going to take too long. Yeah, it will. <laughs> Should have started from yesterday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, Keitra, Miss Claire, I actually used to take pictures with shower cap and bathrobe. So oh, I wait. Who's, who's, is that a lamb, Victoria? Lammy. <laughs> is it Lammy? <laughs> yes, it is Lammy. Lammy. Okay, Keitra's camera's not on. Fonya. <laughs> Kim, Tommy, Ruth, Christian. Tommy has two two names. Valentina. Why is Vonya hand still up? Vonya, do you have a question? Vonya? I don't. That was to answer a question and I never <laughs> She got it stuck. Her hand is oh, stuck. Oh sorry. Hand was stuck. I never up. lowered my hand. Oh, okay. <laughs> Just checking. Okay. So we have two screens to snap, so bear with me. You guys look so cute. Today is cuteness day. So say, okay, we normally say, okay, what is some gesture you wanna do? Um, we're gonna post this on LinkedIn and YouTube. So like, what gesture do you guys wanna do? Coach Leon, you have anything in mind? Yeah, everyone say Lammy, Lammy. <laughs> Lammy. 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 Okay, next screen. Hold on. Lammy. Ruth wasn't ready. Ruth, you ready? You're off screen. Lammy, face the screen. Lammy, look at the Okay, I think, I think I'm good. I, I think I got it. Let me try it again. Yeah, I'm my stitches. Oh, okay, got to kick my dog again. Jackie, take it, take it away, Jackie. All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you all. I'm telling you, after those uh, 10 minutes of good information nuggets, we're going to continue. I love the illustration that uh, Leon said about the Sherpas, and I'm telling you, that is exactly who we need to become. But we're going to continue on with the games. We're going to continue on with the fun. So this one, what we're going to go ahead and do is it's called Extra Extra Read All About It. Now we're going to go through very quickly. And if you could describe the headline or a phrase, what this year or last year has been like for you or what you've gone through this pandemic, what would it be? So for me, if I was the headline, be tomorrow's headline in the newspaper to describe all that I've gone through in COVID, COVID, uh, I would call it, my headline would be, it is getting better. So I want everybody to take a few seconds because we got quite a few people on the call. So we want to take a few seconds. As many of you as you want to participate, we want like for you to go ahead and do that so just say extra extra read all about it what is your headline to describe all that you've gone through in COVID-19 my headline would be um I've been home long enough I'm ready to go back on my job read all about it Atlanta <laughs> call with this year back to work hey no advertising on this on this um <laughs> <laughs> That's what that's what my year has been like. So that's what I that's what I'll read about. So, so your headline is extra extra read all about it. Atlantis, please call the Shiro back to work. She's been home long enough. Yes. Okay, got okay. it. <laughs> uh, 
extra, extra read all about it. Perseverance. Awesome. Very awesome. persistent in doing what I had to do and it didn't, the COVID pushed me actually. So that's me. Awesome. Anybody else quickly? Because I know we're kind of pressed for time. Okay. Extra, extra read all about it. The Bahamas is open for business. <laughs> so Leon, bring your family and come over. Bring your friends. Bring everybody. All right, Vivi. Hi, Kenny. How are you? I see you. I am good. Don't pretend that you don't know me. <laughs> uh, I won't. <laughs> I guess or I actually actually read all about it. Uh, is it over yet? Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Thanks, Kenny. Extra, extra read all about it. COVID numbers increase, but thank God I'm still here. Oh, awesome. Extra, extra read all about it. Be great book. This whole situation taught, should have taught all of us to appreciate things that we do all because a lot of things are taken away during this time. So be grateful for what you are. Awesome. That's a long one, but that's a good one. Yes. Extra. Extra, extra. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you got back on mute. We're waiting. So just extra. extra. Extra, 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 extra. Wait on, wait, uh, read all about it. Where's my champagne that you're supposed to be bringing? <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm five minutes away. Extra, <laughs> extra, read all about it. Champagne is in room. Five minutes away. <laughs> extra, extra, read all about it. I can hug people now, but they don't want to hug me. <laughs> okay. Extra, yes. Extra, read about it. I would like to have the part of that champagne party. <laughs> you need to take a plane. Yeah. US US Air. <laughs> Get in the rocking chair and go. Go ahead, Sanchia. Mine would be extra, extra. Yay, I can stay home. No, not for this long. Let me back on site. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got about one more minute. Who else wants to chime in there with that extra, extra read all about it? Victoria is writing in the chat that she has one. Okay. Okay, go ahead, Victoria. Extra, extra read all about it. I want my friends back. Yes. <laughs> that's a good one. I know that's right. All I feel day. the same way. Extra, extra, real all about it. It's finally Jonko time again. <laughs> <laughs> I know lots of Bahamians loving that, loving that. <laughs> time Anybody again. <laughs> Anybody else want to go in there before we move on? Extra, extra, read all about it. COVID didn't stop me from keep moving forward. All uh, right. Okay. Awesome. Good one. Good one. Awesome. Awesome. I know that this uh, COVID has changed us in so many different ways and the way that we live and the way that we do things. And uh, we all have a headline and a story that we could definitely share and that we can definitely tell. So I want to go ahead and share my screen. And this one here is for a prize. I know that we were just sharing a few minutes ago but this is the ultimate trivia. So what we're gonna do, so all of you entertainment buffs, now the person that gets the most correct answers, you will win a prize. So I'm gonna go through quickly and I'm gonna share the question. Can everybody see my screen? Yes. yes. Awesome. So our first question, we got 10 questions. We're gonna go through this. Paradise City was a 1989 hit for which U.S. rock group? Let's see who's going to be the first one to go ahead and... Okay, I'm Mark in. Aerosmith. Mark in? Mark would raise his hand. Uh, Guns N' Roses? Guns N' Roses. Okay, let's see if he's correct. Yes, 10 points. All right, Mark in. Good job, good job. Question number two. Who were the backing group for Little Anthony? 
Let's see if we have any entertainment buffs in the in the group chat. Mark and kept his hand up. Mark and you know you want to try it again, or you you forgot to put it down. I forgot to put it down. Sorry. The okay, imperial. Sanchia, Sanchia, what is the answer? What, what do you want to say? That was such a mistake. I did not know. Let's go and be the shadows. Five hundred. <laughs> the Imperials. You are incorrect. Leticia is saying the Imperials, Jackie. Leticia, okay, let's see if it's the Imperials. Yes, five yeah. points. <laughs> okay, question number three. Who played Rose to it? Sanchia, you didn't answer in your, what that is, Bukata in the 1997 epic Titanic. Go ahead, Sanchia. I have, I have it. Winkler. Winkler. That is absolutely correct. And we have question number four. What is Wimpy's favorite food in Popeye cartoon? Wimpy? Like, who is Wimpy, right? <laughs> 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 Hamburgers. Hamburgers. Wait, you got to raise your hand, raise your hand real oh, quick. Oh, sorry. Wimpy is a pimp. <laughs> Wimpy is, is a pimp? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> was that, was that Lakeisha? Yes. Hamburgers. Okay, let's see if she is correct. She is correct. Awesome. Okay, who rode 20,000 leagues under the sea? Raise hand. Okay, Marcella, go ahead. See, Jules Verne. And she is correct. Awesome, awesome. So for this question, I got to move my screen up a little bit. What was Huey Lewis and the News theme song for the film classic Back to the Future? Oh, that's a mm. tough one. You all taking long Absolutely. to answer. Went back Bill, to let's go step. ahead, Bill. I see Bill hands raised. Uh, hip to be square. Oh, you are absolutely incorrect. <laughs> go ahead, George. George, you gonna try it? J Jacob's ladder. Oh, you are absolutely Power incorrect. <laughs> we got two. Power of love. Okay, Marcella right. says the power of love. Way to go, Marcella. Right. That's two. I tell you, Marcella looks like she's leading this right now. Okay, Sage Moonblood is the given name of which famous actor's son? I thought it was a drink. <laughs> no, Godwin. <laughs> huh? Okay. Ooh, who's going to raise their hand? Who wants to give it a try? Yeah. George, do you want to try it? I'm going to say share. Share sage moon blood. What I thought that was a drink too, God. When you're right, are you are absolutely nope. incorrect, George. That's two strikes for you. Go ahead, Sanchia. I'm going with Sylvester Stallone. Sylvester Stallone, and you are mm -hmm. absolutely yeah. correct. Awesome. Okay, who played Michael Clayton in the 2007 film of the same name? Mark Sanchia, is your hand still up or no? no. Mark in, you uh, want to give it a try? George Clooney. Hold on, hold on, I got Mark in. Oh, George Clooney? Okay, let's see if that is the correct answer. And you are absolutely correct. You got two and two as well. Okay, which rock band had hits in the 1980s with Little Lies and Everywhere? Leon, you want to give it a try? It's uh, Fleetwood Mac. You are correct. Awesome. Which tennis champion married Brooke Shields in 1997? Jeez, that's a long time. Very simple. <laughs> Who, who's going to raise their hands for that? Come on, guys. Marcella? Andre Agassi. Andre. No. Yes, absolutely correct. All right. So who do we have as our winner? I want to say Marcella. I think she got three correct. Yes, I, I have Marcella with three. I didn't remember who won the third one. I missed that one. Then you have Leticia with two, Marquin with two. So Marcella won with three points. Woo! Congratulations, Marcella. You are so Mar our winner. Marcella has won and uh, 
$25 Amazon gift card. What do you give judge for striking out? Hang disinfectant on. spray. One more strike. He gets a, a bottle of disinfectant spray for participating and hand sanitizer. Okay, for striking out. Nice. nice. Uh, I want to ask that. Good one, <laughs> judge. See, George, we didn't leave you out, even though you got those three strikes. <laughs> Andrea, we're going to turn it over to you. Okay, well, we have good much time left. We're, we're supposed to be ending at 7.30, and we still have a lot of prizes. We haven't given out any of our coaching sessions as yet with our uh, awesome coaches from the South Florida Agile Association. Coach Leon is one of them who has generously offered a 45-minute coaching session unwillingly, unknowingly, not unwillingly. So thanks, Coach Leon, for that prize, <laughs> which I added to the list without asking your permission, but I knew you would not say no because no is not a part of your vocabulary. You only no, tell is me no. It, no, no is actually in my name, Andrea. I know backwards, but you only say no when I volunteer for too many things on the scrum team. That's when I hear. So I guess no backwards means yes, I guess, right, Andrea? Yes, it does. In this instance, of course, most definitely. So we're going to play a game for those coaching sessions. And we have Leon, Coach Leon, we have Coach Art, we have Coach Marcelo, and we have Coach Joe Sif. So Coach Joe, we just call him Joe. Um, so we have those coaching sessions and we also have to give away the prize from coach Ricardo Miller. I know you guys enjoyed that awesome speech that he gave us with those beautiful nuggets. And so he's generously offered us a 30 day complimentary access to his group coaching session. So I know everyone wants to win that. That's where you participate with his group sessions, where he teach you about stress management and all those other things that you know you need in your life as a life coach, having a life coach. And so we're gonna play a few games for those. So all right. we're gonna go back to our two truths and a lie. And that's an oldie but a goodie. I like that one because it, it helps us to build our team and get to know each other on a deeper level. So I'm not gonna ask for volunteers. I'm gonna pick on some people because I like to do that sometimes. And so we're gonna pick on the persons who haven't spoken. So just for those who came in after that game, the game is played. You have to tell us two things about you that's true and one thing that is a lie. And then someone is going to raise their hand and guess which one of those is the lie. So I'm going to start with Reginald King. Reginald, you're up. Well, thank you. I sort of had a feeling I would get that question <laughs> first. Okay, I was, I was born in New Providence and lived in the United States for a while. Which one is true? Which one is? Hey, let me repeat the instructions. It's okay. two truths and a one lie. So you have to tell us two things about you that's true and one thing that's a lie. And we have to we have to figure out which one is the lie. Oh, okay. Well, two things that are true. Let's say I was born in New Providence, grew up in the United States, and spent a few years on Cat Island. Okay, who wants to go ahead and give it Give it a try and tell us what the lie is that Reginald said. Danielle raised her hand. What? Wait, I want to make sure. Would it be that he sure lived in the States for a while? Sorry. Go ahead, Daniel. Would it be that he lived in the States for a while? Is that the lie? That is correct. Awesome. Awesome. So Danielle won a prize. Danielle won a prize. Okay. Next person I'm going to pick on Christian, Christian Pratt, my namesake. Christian, are you there? I'm here, I'm here. Can you tell us two truths and a lie? I've lived in the Bay Area. I've rode 
um, 100 miles across the Bahamas. And I like dogs. Shura, you had your hand up. What is the lie? I think the lie is he like dogs because he hesitated a while. That's that's correct. <laughs> Way to go, Tashira! Awesome, awesome. Okay, who who are we gonna pick on next, Jackie? Okay, let's go with. Uh, I know some people here have been Tammy Roll. Not sure if she related to me, but let's go ahead, Tammy. You are up. <laughs> Didn't you know that at some point? Hi. Hi. Actually, um, can you find out right now? Can you find out right now if you're related? No, we're not related. <laughs> wow, that was quick. That was quick. <laughs> quick. Your That's family is not from Exuma? Yeah. I guess all roles are related. We're all related. <laughs> and if you're from Exuma, we related. <laughs> I'm not from Exuma, though. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, um, let me see. I'm 55. I have six kids. And I'm retired. Those are good ones, Tommy. So who wants Thanks. to take a wants to try and guess which one was the lie? She's 55. Keithra? Keithra? Go ahead, Keithra. I'll pass in that Godwin already said it, but I was going to say the same thing. I am 55. That's not okay, correct. So, but that's the truth. So what? Okay, Markin was the next. Six kids. You're right. That's that, that is what the truth or a lie. That's the lie. Is that the lie, Tommy? You that's have six kids. No, that's a lie. Okay. <laughs> He's retired. <laughs> so that's it. So, Markin, congratulations! Right. You won. Woohoo! Great job! Great job! Thank you, guys. Okay, Kim Adam. We haven't heard from you. You are up. Hi, everyone. Oh. <laughs> All right. So two truths and a lie. Um, I love the ocean. I swim very well. And I'm celebrating a birthday next month. Okay. How can you give us that? You're from the island. You cannot <laughs> not know how to swim. And you must love the ocean. So the thought, the last one, you're not celebrating the birthday next year. Uh, no. Oops. Incorrect. <laughs> so, that, so he said the truth. So you're saying you don't uh, like the ocean and you don't know how to swim? Should I say, should swim. I say now swim. what is the lie? Yeah. Godwin, what is, what is, you already said your, your uh, answer, right? <laughs> that she has a birthday next month, but she yeah. said that is correct. She does have yeah, a birthday. Yeah, that's correct. I do have okay. a birthday next month. Okay, who was the next person up? Who's going to be able to tell a lie? Yeah, Mark, got it. He, he's very good at this. He said uh, swimming. Yeah, I can't swim, but I love yeah. the ocean. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. yeah so that was the lie i yeah the oh, lie congratulations is. mark in and yes godwin lots of bahamians do not know how to swim a lot of us do not know how to swim jackie do you know how to swim yes i do <laughs> in order for me to get my high school diploma i had to learn how to exactly. swim exactly Everybody yes. had to learn how to swim. <laughs> All righty. Who is up next? Click on Ruth. Ruth. Where are you, Ruth? Hello, Miss Ruth. Ruth, you going quiet on us? Hi, Miss Ruth. 
group disappear. So pick on um, oh. Valentina. Oh, she was next in line. Valentina, you are up next. Come on down. The price is right. <laughs> Hi, Valentina. Hi. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Give us your two truths and a lie. Two truths and a lie. Um, I like boating. I like chocolate cake. And... I'm a cat lover. Victoria. Oh. That she's a cat lover? Yeah, that was a lie. <laughs> <laughs> Good job. Congratulations. Congratulations. Sure. Kim, you up next. Sorry, I didn't see you until afterwards. So. Okay, who is going to go ahead? And Barbara Wilson, right in the corner of my screen. You are up next. Hi, okay. <laughs> um, let me see. I have three sisters. I've been married four times. And I love mangoes. Ms. Adams, Kim Adams, do you want to give it a try? What is the lie? Is she from the Bahamas? <laughs> she wants yes. to know. Yes, I am. Well, you ain't been married four times. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I saw Letitia and I know. <laughs> you can that's, process that's four, four divorces in one, one lifetime in the Bahamas. Eh? Is she answering? She's not being married for us. So is she too young? <laughs> I'm looking at the video. Is that the truth or a lie? Actually, it's true. Oh, wow. Okay, <laughs> okay who, wants to, who wants to try, give their hands a try for the lie? Everybody stomp on that one. <laughs> I think I can try again. How can she not love mangoes? I, I, I need to do over. I, I don't know anybody who doesn't love mangoes. <laughs> what, what, what were the other options? I love mangoes and I have three sisters. <clears throat> I think I think a gamble she only has two or one sister. <laughs> yes, she does have three sisters. You're right. <laughs> yeah, you got the mangoes. So that was that was Letitia who said it. That's a good one. All right, good one. Yeah, every, you left everybody silent. I mean, you could hear a pin drop. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Four times. laughs> that was a and really the, good one. Yeah. Good job. <laughs> really, really good one. All right, who else would like to go ahead? We have. Uh, who have we not heard from yet? Bill, you want to go ahead and give it a try? Sure, I'll try. Um, let's see. Uh, I love boating. Um, I walk five miles a day and I was born in Pennsylvania. They are all good ones. Wow. Who wants to give it a try for the lie? Kim, you had your hands up first. Go ahead, Kim. What is Love the lie? Boating. Love voting. That is true. Ha! Huh. Oh, that's true. Oh, I thought and I won. I even I raised sailboats also. Oh, so okay. I love voting. I love voting too. Oh, that's awesome. I think Leticia had a hand yeah. up. He's born in Pennsylvania. So that you're is saying also that's true. the lie. You're saying that's the lie. That's also, yes. That, it is true. I was born in Pennsylvania. And to you. Well, there's only one left. So, <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> that's the one that I was one, going to point out that 
was it five miles <laughs> according to a Fitbit or a phone or was it five actual miles? Because I didn't believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I do not walk five miles a day. Oh, me either. I try it every once in a while, but not, a di- not every day. <laughs> All right. So I know I want to throw this in here. So Sanchia, you are correct. Woohoo! You are a winner. Now you yeah. you guys would have heard from three amazing speakers. And now for the ultimate prize, we want to see how much you are paying attention to what they had to say. Now do not go back in the chat and don't look at any of the comments that was made. So we want to see three things from one from each speaker that what nugget you took away. But you have to do all three speakers. You have to do all three speakers. And they all said some amazing things. Do not look in the chat. I, so I can, who I can, wants I can to be the first to give it a try? I want to try. Go ahead, Tashura. Okay, R- Ricardo Miller. You got to get he the said, name right now. If you don't get the name right, okay. you didn't illuminate yourself. <laughs> oh, no. Ricardo, yeah, Ricardo Miller. Okay, he said, Every, somebody wants to be successful. Why not me? And say, it's going to be me. There's enough pie for everybody. That's three, right? Okay. So you have to say so, from, from the other two speakers, yes. Okay. You're okay. Doing from, good, doing good. from the coach, Leon. I can't say the last word, the last name. He says, mm-hmm. he says, you don't climb Mount, Mount Everest by yourself. You climb Mount Everest with people like a spare or someone to help you. And he says the community is to help out in ways that you can help. The community is here to help in ways that when you can and help when you could. You um, he says the community is there to net help to network with other people. That's three. Yes. Yes. That's three. Okay. Then the first one was Godwin. Godwin. Mm-hmm. And he says. Um, we'll gain from this community and Andrea will gain from the community and says um, participation within the group is important and he says identify and validate um, identify what the group is about and validate and help to make it a success Godwin is that what you said? Or you weren't paying attention just now. Absolutely. So she's correct I, with what you said. Yeah, yeah she was. Basically, correct. with all of us joining hands together, it'll yeah. be good. Yeah. Okay. Well, everybody, let's congratulate our grand prize <laughs> winner. Who <laughs> paid the most attention to the speakers and probably wrote notes. So, Shuri, you have won our grand prize, which is a thirty-day complimentary access to Coach Ricardo Miller's all-inclusive. Well, exclusive group wow. coaching sessions. Congratulations. Wow. Thank you very much. Congratulations. Thank you very much. <laughs> awesome, awesome, awesome. Way to go, way to go. So and Jack- I'm sure, go ahead, go Andrea. Ahead. No, I was just going to say, we have five minutes remaining. So I want you to take out your champagne glasses and let's make our toast. If you have Kool-Aid, get the red Kool-Aid. If you have water, get the red water. <laughs> Whatever you have, a bottle of water, can of soda, gombe punch, Sprite, ginger ale, Coke. <laughs> We're going to give you a minute to get your glasses up. George isn't moving. George gets something in that. <laughs> so we're going to do our toast to an awesome launch party and the beginning of a very successful project management community. I encourage you to tell your friends, family members that we are here, we are live and we are ready to hit the ground running. Our first meetup happens on June 10th with Lee Lambert. Lee is a project management guru. He has been in the project management field for 54 years. And he's going to sit with us on June 10th at 6 
p.m. for us to, he likes to say, suck his brain. So we're going to feed on all of his 54 years of project management knowledge. And we're going to have a slew of questions to ask him. So come with everything you can imagine to ask about project management, leadership, anything you would like to know to help build your skills as a leader, as a professional. We're going to ask him these tough questions. So come prepared with power, we call them powerful questions. So Lee can really enjoy the session and, and he can feel that we're really picking his brain and feeding from his knowledge. And so without further ado, glass is raised. I see water bottles. <laughs> Here's to the successful launch and opening of the first ever Bahamas Project Management Community, where we're here to inspire, empower, and transform the lives of everyone who is fortunate enough to understand the powerful effect that networking has. So we welcome our friends from Africa, Godwin. We welcome them from the US, which is Coach Ricardo and Ricardo Miller, which is actually Bahamas and US. He just happens to be relocated in Texas. So we welcome our friends from all over the world as we launch a successful community. Cheers to us. Congratulations. So we have three minutes to go. So I have to pick on someone else before we leave. I'm gonna ask Ms. Bibi Claire to tell me what makes you smile. Do you mean what makes made you smart in school? What makes you smile? Smile. What makes me smile? Yes. Um, today, for example, let's let's be kind of the rain made me smile today. The rain makes me smile. But seeing happy people, seeing happy faces make me smile also. Seeing other people happy brings a smile to my face, joy to my heart. That's great. Now you can tell them how smart I was in school. Oh, she was exceptionally smart. Really exceptionally smart. <laughs> now, how much do you have to pay me for that? <laughs> the check is in the mail. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, you've got the best right here. So congratulations, Andrea. Congratulations to this marvelous team. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep moving. Yes, ma'am. You're still onward, one of my favorite Onward, teams. upward, together. Yes, ma'am. We will. And now, Miss Wilson, what makes you smile? I would say what makes me smile is hope. Hope for the future. The fact that I have a relationship with God is what makes me smile because in the midst of any and everything, I know that there's a higher power and that puts a smile on my face. Me too, me too. So awesome. Caroline, you haven't spoken much. So what makes you smile? Ooh, Andrea, get a piece of that pie that makes me smile. It don't matter if it's first, second, third, or fourth. So getting these to the pie makes me smile. That's a good one. So I think we haven't heard from, I'm looking at the names left. Ruth, I think Ruth was, up, was missing an action when we called on her first. So Ruth, are you there now? Ruth might still be missing. Hi everyone. Hi, I'm here. What makes Hi, you yes. smile? What makes me smile? I get joy from my family and just being able to spend time with them. That makes me smile. It's very important to me. That's awesome. Final thoughts. I am so grateful for each and every one of you and for the over, I didn't catch the count, but I think like almost 40 persons showed up to this launch, which I think is excellent. I, I My small win was 10. <laughs> you know, I, I try to celebrate the small wins and everything. And so the fact that so many persons showed up is a blessing in itself. And I really appreciate that some of my high school teachers came to support and they have stayed in my life since I've graduated. And even though I was a teen mom and, you know, stuff happened in my life in the past, they always kept encouraging me and kept, kept being involved in my life and they keep pushing me forward. And, you know, 
missing my mom. She passed away, what, 23 years ago. And so my teachers kind of stepped in and met, uh, were my substitute mothers and they keep tabs on whatever I'm doing. And they call me occasionally and say, you know, I'm proud of you, keep pushing forward. So I'm, I'm, a, I'm grateful to Ms. Claire. Ms. Claire was one of my favorite teachers in school and Ms. Ms. Gray. And so it really means a lot to me that they showed up. And that's a testimony to the relationships that teachers have with their students. You know, they find those ones that really, they, they can see it. They can sense it that, you know, this, this person really wants to be somebody and they just pour into that person. And so they've poured into me and I really, I'm truly grateful for them. And they're going to make me cry, mess up my makeup, but I don't really wear every day, but I love them very much. And I'm grateful for our relationship. And I am grateful that this community is coming together so well and that we have a lineup of speakers for the next three months. And I am actually doing my endeavor best to try to make this community free for any and everybody who wants to be a part of it, who wants to upskill themselves, learn new skills. It's not just for project managers. And I think that's what I need to let everyone know. This project management community, yes, it says project management, but everyone is a project manager, even down to Victoria. Victoria is learning project management skills and how to run successful projects. So anyone and everyone can be a part of this community. And I think that's the message that I want us to leave with and to spread moving forward as we communicate with our peers and our coworkers. Listen, this is a community that's being brought to us free of charge where we can learn new skill sets and try to improve upon ourselves and overall to benefit mankind. So I thank you so much for tuning in. But I have to jump off now that we've reached our time box. That's a scrum master terminology. Oh, not a set of project management. But I'm going to join Ricardo Miller on his show on YouTube. I think I shared the link with you guys. So if anyone just wants to tune in and kind of help me with this conversation that, you know, what is it? Hopeless romantic. So if anyone wants to join in on that conversation and say, oh, I'm a hopeless romantic too, you know, you're free to chime in and put your comments in there and, and keep the conversation going. So thank you and good night and cheers again to a successful launch party.